Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited because we are going to be riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure during the day. Disney invited me out before it officially opens and I can't wait to share all my experiences with you. I'm going to show you the ride and then we're going to head over to Hollywood Studios and have a nice little fancy dinner and watch Fantasmic. So I figured uh, we'd ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Sadly, it looks like we've got some gray skies in the area, but if we're riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I guess it really doesn't matter because we're gonna get wet regardless. So I think we're gonna make our way uh, straight back to Tiana's to start. This isn't my first time riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I rode it uh, on the first day of cast member previews, but now Disney actually invited me out so that I can come ride it during the day because I only got to ride it at night. And it's so cool to see it at night because you get to see all the cool lighting effects, but I've been wanting to ride it during the day so I can see the outdoor areas a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to just share all my experiences with you and uh, have fun riding the ride. I am absolutely obsessed with how this ride looks from the outside. I love all of the trees and honestly, I think it just like blends in so good. Like you can't even tell that there's a ride in there. You know? Oh, except for you can hear the screams from the 50 foot drop, you know? That's the splash that gets you. <laughs> Now the ride itself is set to open June 28th. Oh no, it's starting to rain. It just literally started raining. But anywho, the, <laughs> the ride is set to open June 28th. Uh, these are just early previews and I'm excited to see what everyone thinks once it does open and I, I'm excited to see how long the line's gonna be. I love how people can just sit out front of the attraction and listen to the music and the screams of people going down. You can literally hear the music from inside the attraction playing from right here. Before we hop in line, I want to show you the gift shop because they're opening it up for a little preview. Show you guys the merchandise and some of the cool snacks you can get when you come ride Tiana's. Obviously, it's going to look a little bit different now because there's not a lot of people here. This is just for like a special preview, but at least we get to see a lot of the area that's been closed off for a while. Because I'm here with Disney on a media event, they actually are going to have a ride cam set up in there. So you can see my reaction to riding the ride. But I want to show you guys some of the daytime footage too. And like I said, this isn't my first time riding it. I've ridden it multiple times. So I have plenty of footage. But it's going to be cool to kind of see the ride and then also my reaction. And uh, I'm just excited. Let me know what you guys think of uh, the difference between night and day. And let me know which one you would want to ride. Because like I said, I think it's like two different rides. You know what I mean? I think the night one is just so amazing because of the lighting, but it'd be cool to see uh, it during the day and maybe pay attention to the small details. The gift shop looks really cool and very well detailed. Pictures of Tiana and a bunch of different snacks. I like this one here. Restaurant funds. And I think it's little uh, milk chocolate coins. Got some lollipop, some Mardi Gras popcorn. Looks cool. Even uh, a bunch of Tiana's uh, foods, you know, like kitchen apron, kind of makes sense. And then also, I like how they have like theming up in the ceiling itself. Kind of looks like you were in the ride a little bit. The big fireplace in the center has some good food cooking underneath it. You can actually hear it too. <laughs> I don't know why that looks delicious. I think all fake food looks good. Like, have you ever seen like uh, pizza in cartoons or food uh, that obviously isn't real, but you look at it and you're like, well, that kind of looks good. I think I would eat that. Inside the gift shop, they also have a lot of spices and cookbooks from Dookie Chase. This is the restaurant and also uh, the inspiration for Tiana herself, Leah Chase. Uh, she was uh, the queen of Creo, and I've eaten at the restaurant in New Orleans, and it's fantastic. And it's kind of cool that they have this here, even a nice little spice rack. I like that. They also have a big selection of Tiana's Bayou Adventure, like clothing and merchandise nice simple hat 
shirt cut to the bayou. This is a nice little shirt. Nice zipper up there. Yeah, these are nice. Oh, I have this magic band. I actually am wearing it right now. And I was kind of hoping to see what it looks like if it does anything while we ride the ride or uh, during the fireworks. All right, it's time to go ride the ride now. The rain is a little bit, it's a little rainy, but as long as there's no lightning, I think we're good to go. It's cool that we're able to see the queue kind of empty and look at all the details in here. Like the uh, hot sauce competition right here. Award winners, Hot Sauce Louisiana State Fair 1926. Going down the bayou, going down the bayou. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. The song is catchy. Wow, it's so nice up here during the day. down the bayou. Tiana wasn't kidding, y'all. This side of Coke Man, she found your play. Hallelujah!
Oh boy! Well, I ended up getting soaked. It was a mixture between the ride and the rain because this Florida weather, it's raining one second. It's going back and forth. Uh, and we just got on, luckily, because there was lightning in the air and there was a chance that it could have closed. It was closed most of the day because of the lightning. And uh, I'm so happy we made it on. It was a great ride. I hope the footage come out that like, came out good. But like I said, uh, I, I filmed it before and I kind of want to make it like a multi uh, point of view and show some of my uh, like reactions action riding and also the daytime shots so i hope it all comes out good and you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed riding it it was it was great during the day but i have to say i still love it at night way better nighttime is so good and it's like the lighting and how bright it is and even the effects you can just tell a difference but during the day you still get to see a lot of the outdoor shots you get to see that beautiful blue sky with cinderella castle at the top of the drop so like ah uh, it's tough let me know what you guys think what's your favorite and now i I think we're gonna start making our way maybe out of magic kingdom i gotta change out of my clothes like i am drenched i have to go change and then we're going to hollywood studios where uh we're gonna go watch fantasmic and i think uh we're doing star wars uh galaxy's edge we're doing uh, galaxy's edge uh, all by ourselves at like midnight i think the, they're gonna have the park closed off so that'll be a nice little treat to show you guys but first we definitely need to change <laughs> look at this look at the skies it is so beautiful out right now, and everybody looks like they're dry, and I'm walking around like a wet dog. I'm telling you, look at it. I, it's, it's crazy. It was just storming like crazy just a couple minutes ago. Luckily, DVC previews start tomorrow, and then annual pass holder previews start the following day. So uh, more people are going to be able to ride the ride, and we're going to be able to hear some feedback and see how everyone likes it. Like I said, I think once people ride the ride, they're going to see how much fun it actually is. And it's a song that gets me. Going down the bayou. How did this day turn out like this? We have now officially made it to Hollywood Studios and it's still daylight out a little bit but uh, we're gonna hang out we're gonna see Fantasmic weather permitting and uh, then have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge all to ourselves and I'm so excited I'll tell you what there's nothing prettier than a sunset at Hollywood Studios look at Gertie doesn't that look so majestic there I, I love coming here, and it, when you catch it at the golden hour, oh, it's the best time ever. And it just seems like it's an empty day in the park. It's pretty quiet. It's been a long day full of soggy bottoms. The rain has been relentless. And now it just seems like a beautiful night at Hollywood Studios. Wish I had this all day today. Just to give you an idea, it's pretty dead here. We'll show you the wait times. 45 minutes for Smuggler's Run, 50 for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, 35 minutes for Tower of Terror down there. Look at that. 35 minute wait. A lot of the other attractions are closed though. 10 minutes for Star Tours. Slinky Dog Dash, still 60 minutes. Even with all this rain, that was pretty bright. What they've been doing is having two shows for Fantasmic. One at 8 p.m. and then one a half an hour past the park close. One at 10.30. 
So uh, I think we're catching the late show, and then we're going to be able to roam around Galaxy's Edge. And I, I kind of love that, as long as the weather safe. Look at how, like, stormy this looks. Right? I don't know. It's not looking good. It's looking good over here, but not so much over here. It's kind of funny because earlier I was telling you guys that they have two shows of Fantasmic. So you're going to see people trying to leave and people trying to get in. <laughs> I know. It's... <laughs> I am just so happy to be kind of hanging out here. Even though it's a little humid, especially after the rain. But I feel great right now. Something about Hollywood Studios and Fantasmic. It just gets me on another level. We're ready for Fantasmic. We are sitting about three rows up. Almost got like a perfect shot right there. I get excited to see Moana. And uh, yeah, this is, I'm excited. It looks actually really nice. And the skies are looking nice behind it too. Look at that. You can actually see the clouds. That's good low light, isn't it? Oh, it's really good. Yeah. For we now invite you to join me and experience Fantasmic. A journey beyond your wildest imagination. Fantasmic was amazing, and now we made it down to Batu. Look at it. It's like we got the whole place to ourselves. Literally. Oh, I forgot I have a fancy camera. I can just spit you, spin you around here. 
look and it's so cool because everything is just open so if you want to get some milk just go up and uh grab some milk it's not a rain i know right thank yeah. you thanks look at that <laughs> this is so cool there's stormtroopers coming out i'm the only one here On me? Affirmative. I don't think there's anyone else. Let's calm down. Oh, I'm calm. Just drinking the milk, thank you. Have you pledged your support to the First Order? I have. Excellent. We expect that to continue. Oh, forever. Good. For the Order. For the Order. Who are you? Sold out the force. <laughs> For the order! For the order. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make my way into Oga's because there's not that many people here, so it's actually a good time to go in it. You don't know, we might have the whole place to ourselves actually. It's crazy because we basically have all of Galaxy's Edge like open. You can go get milk, you can build a droid, a lightsaber, the rides are open, everything like that. And I'm just thinking, what about Olga's Canteen? I never thought I would have Olga's Canteen basically all to myself. There's honestly nobody in here. <laughs> it's it's uh, honestly just me, uh, Molly, and Alan over here. Me, Molly, and Alan, the only people inside Olga's Canteen. <laughs> I can't even... This is like... This honestly might be one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. Look at... I'm just shocked, too. I'm just... <laughs> That was actually pretty crazy. I had Olga's all to myself. Like, there was nobody in there after uh, everyone else just left, and I was just standing there at the bar, and I was like, do I have a time limit? Like, do I have to leave? <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, oh. Ooh, let me see that smile. Ooh, let me see it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> what? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go. Come on. And with that, I think we are done here for the night. It has been an amazing past couple of days. Thank you, Disney, for inviting me out and putting on such an incredible event. A lot of you guys don't know, this is the first time Disney has ever invited me to a new ride opening. Like, the past, like, 10 years that I've been making videos on YouTube, all the rides that have opened up, like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, Tron, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Remy. Ratatouille adventure. I was always there the first day, but I was never actually invited out by Disney. This is the first time they've ever said, hey, we want you to come out and ride the ride and share it with your followers. And that's basically what I do. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, I, you, know, I, you know, when we talk about rides, we say things that we like and dislike about it or, you know, stuff like that. But like, I'm just here to have a good time. Like, that's how I look at it. And it's cool that my videos, I just, I just want to make videos having fun and being positive and basically just enjoying life. And like the fact that Disney was just like, yeah, why don't you come do that? you know, a little bit early. It really is something amazing. And I, I'm just forever grateful. Thank you guys to you because honestly, uh, you know, if you didn't watch my videos, Disney probably wouldn't be like, hey, Nate, why don't you come ride the ride? So thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. And honestly, it's it's been an amazing time. I had so much fun. And it's crazy because this event wasn't just for like, you know, content creators or uh, media. It was like a large scale event. Uh, there were celebrities, there were uh, uh, professional athletes, and there was the, the, the Chase family. Uh, the Chase family came from New Orleans like there were hundreds of people and the cast members did a great job putting this event together like honestly like seeing uh, like uh, the Chase family interact with uh, uh, Princess Tiana which um, you know their family Leah Chase is the inspiration of uh, uh, Tiana or Princess and the Frog uh, just seeing that and then I got to see I got to meet the voice of Dr. Facilier uh, actually at one of the events like literally 
literally him. I got to meet him, and it was I, it was incredible. And like, honestly, sometimes I'm just like like speechless. And I, like I said, just happy that I'm able to make these videos and share them with you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm probably got a couple more uh, videos coming up soon of like things inside like Orlando and then I'm probably back on the road traveling again. I have some really cool things to look forward to in the next couple of uh, weeks. We have San Diego Comic Con which I'm so excited. D23 just around the corner too and who knows I mean I'll probably be stopping at different other expos and uh, uh, cons with the Roosevelt's crew uh, down the road but I think for the next couple days I think I'm going to hang out and go to Disney. <laughs> I'll be home for a little bit. I'm going to go to the parks and, you know, do the rotation and just, you know, I like when I go to the parks, I like to go like kind of in a, all right, I went to Magic Kingdom yesterday, go to Epcot, then I go to Animal Kingdom. You know what I mean? Then I go to Hollywood, then I go to Disney Springs, then I hang out at the resorts. I just love like just being around here because it seems like you, you'll never get bored because there's always something to do. So uh, yeah, got to look forward to that for a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Ooh, I'm bald. Ooh, actually cool. I wanted to show you this one hat too real quick while I'm here. Nice little Pixar hat. I should have wore this tonight because then I had the Pixar shirt. Be repping Pixar pretty well. Oh, anywho's, bye.